Hi everyone, my name is Dawn and I teach heel stance at X in TU Delft. I am here today to tell you what you need in order to follow this heel stance course perfectly and comfortably. So, first of all you need some comfortable clothing, which you can move around in a lot. Then you need some knee protectors, because you're gonna dance also on the floor, there's some floor work and your knees are gonna hurt a lot if you don't wear some knee protectors. And third of all, you need dancing heels. So, about the knee protectors. I really recommend getting some soft knee protectors, so no hard ones that you wear to skating. You can buy them at any local sports shop and just make sure they're comfortable for you and they fit over your clothing. About the heels. You need a heel that kind of looks like this. It can also look something like this. If you're a beginner, I recommend starting with around 8 centimeters. If you're more advanced and you're used to dancing on heels, you can go to 9 or 10. Don't go to 10 if you've never done it before. Make sure it's a stiletto heel and not a chunky heel. Chunky heels, they might feel comfortable and it might seem like you have more balance, but over time you want to train your own ankles and your own balance to dance on stiletto heels because you have more freedom of movement. Make sure it's a booty, so you have the ankle support. Then you need some laces to make sure it's tightly around your ankles. Make sure they're strong laces and not too long. So this is also over your ankle and it also has laces, but it's a different style. Then second of all, it has an open toe. So an open toe is also important so that you, that you don't stop your toe in the front of the heel when you're turning and dancing a lot. And it has a flat sole so no platform, so you're close to the ground. Then you can also do a shoe like this, which has uh, the laces on the back and more flexible front, which can be comfortable when doing a lot of floor work when you're rolling over this. But make sure it doesn't have a zipper in the back because over time this is gonna get a bit more loose and you wanna have this ankle support here. Then it's also important that the bottom is made for all kinds of surfaces, so not a Latin dance shoe, which has a leather bottom. Also important that you buy a real dancing heel, so they have a flexible sole and they have extra padding here. This is comfortable to dance in for multiple hours. If you buy one of these dancing heels, it will be around 100 euros or more. But I say it's definitely worth the investment because they're gonna last long and they look very pretty. Because it's for you to make you feel pretty and sexual and sensual when you're dancing. And lastly, what you can do is you can also customize these. So make sure it fits your foot more perfectly, adding some extra padding uh, inside. And you can also add some extra rubber on the bottom to have more grip and a longer lasting shoe. But if you're not completely sure yet, you can also try and find a cheaper alternative in a, a local store, but make sure that it also fulfills all these recommendations. So a booty, the open toe, the laces. So think about these tips and just think about what you want in a dancing heel. And I hope this video helped you. Good luck with finding the perfect dancing heel and I look forward to seeing you in my class.